Goodbye, sunflowers. There we go, a wee half a calf. Boom, we've got a car park open for business. What have you got, Freddy? Morning, Holly. There we are, we coming. Are you bugging? Good morning. Today's task is to shift the bulls. So I'm going to put the flat bed on the back of this. Dad's going to put the livestock trailer on the back of the Discovery. Head along the road to yard number two. I had all this yoked up, but I've just taken it off again because the cow that's the calf, the black one, she's right in the corner of the field, so. This one's the one that's still to calf, so the fact that she's cowering in a corner. Oh, is that a calf or a stone? A calf, oh, there we go. Good job, cow, well done. Look at that, that's not long born, that's soaking wet. Look at that wee cavy. Well done, coo. There we go, a wee heifer calf. I'll go and get a tag and some navel spray. And just feeling the belly. She's had a good belly full of milk already. Perfect, ideal. I would take a guess that she'd probably be born about two hours ago, maybe. When it's like that, that makes it easy. I see calves, we've only got one left to calf, but there's been no size issues, which you can look at from both ends of the spectrum. One, it's easy calving, and uh, everything goes relatively, relatively smoothly. Or two, you can look at it as in calves aren't big enough. At this stage, we're happy to have plenty easy calves. All right, we'll get this trailer back on. Look at that, that, don't need a camera, look at that. Right, I've got parked up in line with the gates just to extend the gates a wee bit. Someone sensible suggested connecting a wire to the electric fence and running a single wire right the way out and kind of make it into a V, into a taper and drawing them in. That would be sensible and I should have set it up quite a while ago so to get used to that wee wire, but I haven't. So dad's going to bring some along and we'll try it. And if not, we'll leave it anyway for the next time. Like you see, I farm, we farm. Splits all those fields with um, electric wire. Here comes dad, the livestock trailer. This is what we've got for now, but ideally we would have white strips because the castle would see them better, but just we've got this kicking about, so we'll try this for a starter. Let's try that. It's quite difficult for the coos to see, so. should be going.
it's going straight in the freezer. Without the wild one, they'd be in. That cow is the worst decision I've made in a long time. Anyway, Dad's gonna jump in a Land Rover instead of on foot. See if we can corral them up. He might be a bit slow coming up the hills without the turbo. Look at her, look at her, she's oh menace. Bloody menace. The rest of them just ambling away. Then her. She's a nutter. Once we get up here, I'll jump on the quad bike again. Look at her, look at her. God's sake! I hate that cow with all my heart. Right, he's in. We got them that time, Dad. But Dad drove up this side of the wire just so they wouldn't run through the wire. Oh! Nah, he needs to go forward. Right, that'll do it. Come on, boy. Come on. Your foot through there. Bit of a squeeze. Come on, boy. One bull secured. Careful. Right, that's one bull loaded. Pull off back. Just gonna take a wee while until they realise where they're going, where the gates are, where they need to be handled. Obviously the wild one, but that's easily solved. We'll get rid of her and a proper handling system would help as well. We'll get there. Step two, get Euro in. Can you tell what CD the Defender came with? Euro's in there, he's out, Percy's going in. Go on boy, keep going, keep moving. There he goes. Right, all that's left to do is load up Euro. We've left a cow in there just in case we need to use the cow to help him into the trailer. So get him loaded up. Harbro mixer's in, so I need to shift all this out of the way so we can get into that shed where the hen feed is. I'm telling you, pure radio. Anyway, just need to shift some wheat uh, for the Harbro mixer, because that shed we just shift a couple of buckets around every time he's in. Not worth so much this wheat. It'll come back. Right, wheat in the shed, he's gonna mix up one batch and then I'll top off the wheat again. And in the meantime, I'm gonna shift Euro along the road, chuck him into the field of cows. He's starting to batter hell out of that trailer. Just stop battering hell out of the trailer. Settle down, man. Hey boy. Calm down. He has definitely settled from when he was inside along the road. Dunk's taking the combine out for a spin. Dunk's looking after the combine. He drives at harvest time, so, so we'll leave him to that. There he goes. Has he spotted the cows yet? I don't think so. They're over there, pal. Come on. He's a bit confused. Bull swapping done. Probably started at about just after eight, maybe. And it's half 10 now, two and a half hours to swap two bulls. Only took 20 minutes to deal with the things at home. But here, it took flipping ages. Couple more buckets of wheat for the hen feed. Here we go. That's a pile of barley, don't want to tip it in there. So just going down there with the wheat. That's a pile of soya, limestone in the corner. Second bucket and that should do him, I think. That'll do him. He just uses that pipe basically as a hoover in his machine and he hoovers up wheat and he hoovers up limestone and he hoovers up soya. Shouldn't have brought her out. Hey, 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 come here. Right, sit. Stay there. Stay. 
I did have the camera going on the GoPro, but it died. Anyway, Cavi's tagged, doing well. Cleanings are all coming out of the cow just now, but happy, healthy, tagged, navel sprayed. There's Percy. That's one of his calves. Number 73, nice looking calf. His mother's actually got yonis, so once this calf's up and away and weaned, um, the mother will be disappearing off the farm. Look how much tidier a clean carpet makes it look. Anyway, that's the least of my worries. So I've just been to pick up two 90 degree, three eighths hydraulic fittings, male male. For the hydraulic rams I fitted up yesterday, and I was kind of I'm struggling a wee bit for length, and I had to cut a corner. But this will give me a lot more slack. A few people suggested that, so cheers for suggesting that. Also picked up some round bar, 20 mil round bar so that I can make pins for the rams. Just out knapsacking the big patches of brome. I did some of it last week. You can see the patches starting to turn yellow. So there's a patch I've sprayed off the color of that and then I've not sprayed that piece, which is still all green. But it's quite a big block, so most of this patch is sprayed, to be honest. If you look at the rest of the field, it's quite green. There's a few patches that I've done here and there. Yeah, Matt. Uh-huh. Right, job done, home time. Ugh, Jesus. Took a bit of time to do that, but quicker than roguing it anyway. I was just out checking how that calf's getting on. Absolutely fine. Anyway, coos are crowded around the Land Rover. I think Lulu's quite enjoying it in the back there. Hey, dog. Just out recutting the path because there's been quite a bit of regrowth. You can see where I've just cut it, but where I have to go next, where I've already cut it before, is not obvious at all is proving quite tricky i can just make it out it goes like that and keeks back that way then i can't see from there on but there's been some bits that have been really tricky weeds have kind of overgrown a few patches specifically on the end rig seam you can see loads of flipping weeds i don't think the sunflowers will grow here the weeds are just taking over although it's quite handy i can just make this an open bit of the path obviously that bit's not going to grow i'm having two different paths in this field so the next path that i cut this can just be a wide bit in the pass. Goodbye, sunflowers! This is pure sunflowers. Oh, it's packed in there. Pure sunflowers. Boom, we've got a car park open for business. Cracking, looks good. Road's obviously still to finish, that's why it's coned off over there. Look at that, smashing, tapered off, runs the water away, we'll get grass into there. Jobs are good in. Soak away drain in there, soak away drain along there. The mound, obviously, the actual car park, the main road, it's all come together fairly well, fairly smoothly. Good morning, it's the next day. Just taking a bale of ammonia straw along the road to where the cow with the puffy eyes and the nasty skin is. Could give her a bale of silage, but obviously she's just one cow. So by the time she gets through a bit of it, the rest of it will go off, whereas the ammonia straw doesn't go off. So I'll fill the feeder up with that. Also, obviously, the turbo system's fixed on this, so it's going to be nice to actually have a bit of power while pulling a trailer. If you're around Pasha, put pure radio on, it's great. 106.6. .6. Up this hill to yard two, I couldn't get out of second gear yesterday. Now we're charging. I feel like Ollie's far. Well, he's got a TDCI, I think. Transit engine. This is a newer one from 2007 onwards, 8? I can't remember exactly when they changed from TD5 to TDCI, effectively the engine out of a transit. There was a 2.4 litre, then they dropped down to a 2.2 litre. I think the 2.2 litre seemed to be better than the 2.4. Somehow wangled my way into being uh, invited on this John Deere, what's it called? Here we go. Royal Highland Show 2022 customer preview event. Not a customer, they're obviously touting to get a sprayer from us, but anyway, got that coming up Wednesday, so you'll be seeing some John Deere's on Thursday probably. Right, we'll get this off. Oh, oh. Forgotten how potent that stuff is. Jesus. That'll keep her going. This shoe's over there, just go and feed her. How's she looking today? The swelling's definitely disappearing, but. Oh, poor girl. Let's see what her skin's like. Yeah, it's really starting to firm up now. See there's wrinkles across there? I think they must be drying out and just forming wrinkles. But 
yeah, all the white bits are just really firm. Oh, you're looking a bit worse for wear, pal. Oh well, we'll keep you going, we'll keep you moving. You've no idea how much this fading and uh, rusty bit's annoying me. What have you got, Freddy? A What do they do? They They eat all the beasties? Yeah. We like ladybugs, don't we, Freddy? Yeah. Oh, ladybirds. Ladybugs, ladybirds, what do you call them? Where's it going? out there there's some tight bits in the path that I cut with the lawnmower uh, and I'm just I've ordered a wee Avant forklift just testing the turning circle of that versus the Avant that I've ordered anyway that's like two and a half meters in Avant it's like four so it'll be a bit of uh, shuggling around the corners anyway okay to find out what miles per gallon this thing gets so we're on 17.3799 and that's what we've got just fractionally into the orange Fill her up, we'll leave her to run back down to the exact same position as it is right now and then we can roughly work out what kind of miles it's getting. Put your predictions down below, what kind of miles per gallon you think we'll get? I'll go for 24. That's what I put in, 60 litres. Full to the brim. New whip, new hoose, just a way to measure up for flipping washing machine and stuff. Stuff that goes in the house, like just all the stuff you need to live. You need some amount of rubbish to fill a house, don't you? Flipping washing machine in there, just as well I've bought this machine. I've been away purchasing bits for a house, and I tell you what, there's gonna be less things done to defend her in the short term. Pocket changes, go. Right, you hold it on? Yeah, I'm holding on. I'm sharing on the wee back. Put there, and you stand up tall, and hold on to the wheel, and you- It's your tractor. The uh, tour of the new gaff. Lifestyle vlogging smells a bit like smoke. I need to get rid of that because I don't smoke, not a big fan. Got some seats, 50 quid. Need to paint them. There's been a couple less videos recently just because I've been trying to sort out moving into here, sort out all the stuff you need to put in a house. I'll get back to normal once I've sorted this all out. I'm going to the Helen show next week, so possibly on the day I'm at the show, I'll be able to get two videos worth out of it. Just with everything that goes on at the show. This container, one, it's needing shifted, and two, I'm hoping there's going to be a kitchen table in here for me. Ah, oh, it's locked. Not to worry. Engage safety goggles. Come on, what's the verdict? Kitchen table in here. No. We're making a few altercations in here. Um, there's a bit of, there's a chiller unit going in basically, that's what's happening. We need to make changes to all this drainage and sort it out before that gets all done. So that's why there's a big hole there right now. I found one, an old shop table. <sighs> Made to measure, safe as house is that.